How did it go for you today, day one? How did you feel it went? It was just good to be back with the guys again. Um, there's a lot of work to do. It always makes you appreciate um, what it looks like, what a team looks like at the end of a season. It makes you appreciate how hard it is to win games and to uh, be in bowl games and win those when you each year start over and kind of see the reference point. Um, they worked hard. Um, I think their preparation physically looks like it's a little bit past maybe what I had exceeded it or expected it to be. Enthusiasm is good. Execution is a little rusty, um, but good leadership. And so in a nutshell, that's what I would say. How are you going to handle a senior backup knowing that you, know, you need somebody ready for next year? Well, um, I think just by simply continuing to, continuing to remind him that he's really one play away, and by the way, Riley plays quarterback. Um, we all know that could be game one, game 10, game 12. Uh, um, he's durable and he's tough, but he also is durable and tough, and he likes to run with the football. And so I think the reality to all of us is, is James knows that, and uh, he's trained like it. And he's so I think it actually works in our favor. And so I think by knowing who Riley is, I think that kind of addresses it on its own. But then are you concerned? I mean, obviously, this is the first part of this year, but you know, you have him down the line. Does anybody have experience? There's the abilities that Taysom Hill has um, as being one of the fastest players on the team, etc. There's a chance that he might play um, in addition to regular quarterback. Possibly he plays um, for what the catchphrase is, wildcat, something like that. Maybe he's in there when the other quarterbacks are in. So, they're really, that's a whole kind of distinctive, rather than saying just quarterback, he could be getting game experience possibly um, in a, maybe a different role. Being an older guy, less incentive to consider a redshirt for a guy like Taysom? Oh, I, I, think, um, I think certainly, especially if another role he could play will help our team immediately. And if that role can be significant enough, then I think it would make sense. What are some practice elements that maybe are new that you think will assist your team this time around? Hmm. Um, maybe a little bit more distinction on tempo, on when we're in no pads, full pads, shells, and trying to maintain health and focus on execution and just keep cleaner play. Um, and then the volume of team plays is going up. Um, so hopefully that will add to um, consistency early on. Without change moving at the end, what was the objective uh, toward the latter end of practice? Well, it's, it's really easy. Once the chains move, you're playing football. When you're playing football, it's competitive, and when it's competitive, guys like to tackle. And when they tackle without pads, that's the reason you put on pads. And so we don't have pads on today. So no chains moving. And no tackling. If you didn't draw that correlation, <laughs> then yeah. Max can be on your staff this year. Say it again. The drill you did at the start of practice is that you to be a that, that we've done it all summer. Um, so it's just the way we're going to warm up from now on to uh, get ready for practice. Is Max can be on the staff. Max is on the staff. Max is. Um, uh, has not finished his undergraduate degree in the NCA. Um, for any player that has not finished his undergraduate degree within um, a certain time frame is eligible to be a student assistant, which those responsibilities are identical to a graduate assistant. So it's a fantastic thing for our staff, for Coach Doman, to have basically an assistant quarterback coach while he's now an offensive coordinator. So between he and Andrew George, I'm talking about Max and Andrew George, that's a great thing for us. Does that go for Dre and uh, Jordan Richardson? Exactly right. Um, Dre and Jordan Richardson both are medicaling, but again, um, since they have not finished their undergraduate degree, they can be student assistants, and they all want to be around our program. That's the good thing, and maybe the story behind the story is the guys are coming back or wanting to be part of the program rather than just disappear. With Josh transferring, where does that leave you in the running back position? Um, really, uh, just one less with more ability for Paul Wasike to possibly shine more opportunity maybe for Jamal Williams to emerge, uh, certainly more opportunity for David Foote um, to have a more significant role. And then when you have Jonah Pritchard, who could be a big back ball carrier, but also a full back, I still think there are plenty of plenty of bodies there with Mike Elisa being the primary ball carrier. Excuse me. A couple of guys coming off shoulders. How do you plan to handle Kyle Van Noy? And Kyle, Kyle Van Noy has a doctor's appointment on the 14th. We anticipate him being cleared fully to start everything we can do on the 15th. And Ross is much farther ahead, and so it's one week, I think, with no contact with him. And it's just that long. Any other guys you're limiting that you, off top of your head? Mm. Man, that's not my strength. You can get with Jeff on that. Those two main guys, I, I guess, so. right? Yeah. Well, you know, did he, is he for sure not going to be with the program? 
that, that, that's the way it looks right now. Again, um, really nothing has changed with O'Neill and I from all the way back to last January where I've been really consistent saying it's going to be day by day with very specific things between he and I that he needs to do. And, and to this point, there's some of those things that he hasn't done. And so um, uh, I'm hopeful uh, that O'Neill can, can uh, just live a quality life and, and, uh, and do what he needs to do. What do you gather from being around these guys for only 24 hours at this point? Uh, they're, they're confident, they're optimistic, they're excited and realistic about where the program is, what they're going to have to do, and uh, how much work lies ahead, but they think they're capable. Anybody in particular stand out, Ron? No, not, not today. I mean, so much to correct and fix the first day. Hard to just really focus on anybody. What's keeping okay. Robbie Buckner around? Robbie Buckner had a surgery uh, a few weeks ago, kind of an emergency surgery, and he won't be reporting till the first day of school. Um, and, you know, you'd have to talk to Jeff if we want to disclose what the surgery was. Pretty private in nature, and, um, but uh, yeah, pretty limiting too. So that's what caused that. Okay? All right, thanks. thanks. Yep.